guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shatoka and this channel is all about fashion, sewing, and home decor. So today's video, I'm just do, gonna do a quick pattern review on this skirt that I have on. I actually made two and it is a McCall's pattern. It is 79.31. So really, really simple slip skirt. Um, like I did my last review with the wrap skirt, I actually wanted to do two before making a review just to have a couple of different skirts to review. And the one that I'm wearing now is actually my favorite and this is Beauty. So it's the long version. There are two long versions in this pattern. Uh, one is C, it has a side split, and then D does not have a side split, but they're the same pieces that comes with it. And this is super easy, super beginner friendly. So if you're new to sewing, definitely would recommend doing this pattern. It's literally four pieces. You have your front, your back, and you have the waistband. And I actually did something different with the waistband on the other one that I made. So definitely this one, which is view D, is my favorite. I prefer this length. Um, I did view B for the other one, which is gonna be a black uh, satin charmeuse fabric that I use. And it was my first time doing the black satin, well, I'm sorry, the charmeuse fabric. And I thought it would be good, but I'm really not a fan. Like it kind of stretched a little bit more to my, than I would like. Um, so I did do the recommended hanging of the bias skirt um, like at least 24 hours before so that it can drop before, you know, you go ahead and sew and I stay stitch the side seams and still it kind of is a little bit wonky. And I decided to do a ribbon waistband. I saw a video tutorial on that but I really didn't like the way it turned out. I think that that fabric has a little bit too much give to do that. So if I make it again out of that type of fabric, I would do the normal interface waistband and it would lie a lot better like this one that I have on. So this one, like I said, was, is my favorite because it's sold up really, really quickly. Um, it has an invisible zipper on the side, but really, really simple. Definitely, you should definitely make it. If you don't already have this pattern in, the slip skirt has been trending for like at least the last three years. Um, some people dress it up and you can also do it very casually. I've seen it done with sneakers and a graphic tee, which I'll have it styled. You guys will see some video on how I styled the black one with actually a graphic tee. Um, and this one I decided to do a little bit more dressed up because of the fabric. I love this fabric. I actually got this a couple of years ago at a local fabric store here in Chicago. I usually like to cut out my pieces first on a different day and then sew up my item just because you don't wanna just be doing too much and kind of get overwhelmed. To me, just tackling each thing at a time makes it easier and less stressful. Um, I did this one first uh, and then I decided, like I said, I wanted to do another skirt for my pattern review um, and then I did the second one. So I definitely think that I'm going to take out that ribbon waistband and actually interface the waistband and do it the correct way, the way the pattern instructions um, states because like I said, it, it's kind of stretched out. It, it was a no-go. Like I put it on and styled it and did a little video for you all so you guys can see. Um, but I don't think it's a total fail if I just fix that part. But I wanted to get at least a video to show you guys how it looks as is right now. And then, like I said, in the future, I'm gonna definitely fix it up. But that Charmeuse fabric, it was really inexpensive, like $2.99 a yard. Um, and I was just like, oh, I kind of see why because it's kind of, I don't know, maybe just something else because of this slip skirt, you know, it's kind of a bias. And so it's already going to have a little bit of stretch and more give than something that you would do normally. Um, so yeah, definitely if I do it again, I think I do want to do like a, a bright color for the summertime, but I'll think I'll definitely do the length of D. I just prefer that on me better instead of the shorter version that I did. There are tons of tutorials on DIY slip skirts. I've seen some with uh, patterns and I've seen some where you can actually do them on your own. Um, even if you have one that you have already in your wardrobe that you just bought from the store, um, you can do like, I used to always do this, 
use that and trace a pattern. You can either trace it right onto your fabric or you can trace it onto pattern paper or wrapping paper. I've seen people do newspaper and make your own pattern um, because it's very, very simple. And as long as you just add yourself a seam allowance, you could definitely duplicate it quickly. Um, but yeah, I definitely see many, many more of these for this well, we're going into summer now for the summertime, but definitely in the spring too. And I honestly don't think that this is a seasonal item. This is definitely could be worn in the fall with some boots and like layers. Super cute, super feminine. Love it. Also, I do have another video coming up soon. I'm deciding to um, get rid of some of my sewing storage that I do have and get a new desk to sew on. So I'm going to get that in and style that and then show some organizational things that I've been getting lately for sewing. So that's going to be next on the channel. So again, if you're new here, my name is Shatoka. And if you like what you saw today, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Until next time, bye.